Good evening and welcome to Paranormal Path Peeps. And tonight we've got a very special guest, Mr. Richard Felix. Nothing special about me, kid, I tell you. Like right, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually call you Mr. Do you? Do I? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it's nice oh, to speak lovely. to you again. That's and you. To you lovely Christmas. to speak to you. Yeah. 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 So, uh, about you've been busy since then, haven't you? I've, I've, I can't, I can't, there's, there's supposed to be no money around, <laughs> so, like, so everyone says, but I've, I've, normally I could, I could almost have the whole of January off, to oh, be, to be honest with you, because, you know, it, 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 well, it, it's a quiet time, everybody's getting over Christmas, nobody's got any money, they're all waiting to be paid, but I've been ever so busy. Um, oh, wow, bless you. I, I, which I'm not complaining, by the way, far from it, but it's just... Yeah, but uh, you're always busy. Well, you, well you, yeah, yeah, I suppose I am. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I am, but not do normally in January, rest? so it's gone mad. Do, lots of bookings, I've been doing, lots of, been doing a lot of events. Um, yeah, it's good, it's all good. I'm, you know. yeah, that's right, but you need to rest sometimes, Richard, you know that. <laughs> uh, well, well I, I, yeah, I, I yeah, do, I do sometimes. Do. Don't, don't forget a lot of what I do, because don't forget I'm a bit like Dracula. Now I work at night. Yeah, no, <laughs> so, I like so, that as well. Yeah, so I, I do get I do get time off. Of course, I do get time off in the day. <laughs> um, apart from everything else under the sun. Yeah, um, exactly. You're always you know, there's always something to do. Oh dear, <laughs> living no, where no, I do. Yeah, I don't know. You've got animals as well. Haven't donkeys, you? donkeys, donkeys, and sheep, and dogs, and 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 grandchildren. And <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely though, isn't it? You it, is know. Lovely. it is. It is. Oh, there's no. I'm not. I'm. You know. I'm blessed. You know. <laughs> oh, there's not many. But you've worked hard. Yeah. Yes. True. But no, there's no, not many. Not many. Not many people can say, you know, that they don't have Monday mornings because I don't, and I don't. I don't have nine to five. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's, it's, I enjoy what I'm doing. I suppose is, is is what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's what life's about, isn't it? If, if it can be. If you can, yeah. Well, yeah, you, you, you want to, don't you? You know, it. you've just got, you know, we've had the bad news today, haven't we? About Terrible news. Thing, which, Terrible news. Yeah, that is a I'm, massive shock, isn't it? I'm gutted, I really, because yeah. like, I've always liked him. I've yeah. always, you know, I know he's, I know he had, well, you know, whatever, with Diana and all of that, but it was a two-way oh, thing. Um, I blame them both for that. Yeah, it takes two, doesn't it? And yeah, we, because we don't know what constraints were in place and stuff like that. No, 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 exactly. No. But he, he was forced, if you like, and, and he wanted somebody else, and now he's happy. And I'm so no, sorry. That's right. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just hope that, um, you know, like me, who had cancer 53 years ago, exactly, and that was still going strong, you know? wasn't it? Wasn't you it? Know? Yeah. 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 So, well, you know, so they thought, yeah. So, you yeah. know, there's, there's positives there, of course, there is, and especially yeah. these days, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah, things have changed so much. I'm just trying to share out as well while I'm at it. Um, I can't find any pages to share, so it's all gone a bit, <laughs> but yeah, well, we're all right. Um, but you're doing a lot of meals now, aren't you? You're doing bus tours, oh, god, I'm, oh, well, yeah, I'm wow. doing I'm, the dining with the dead is going well. Um, you see, I got that idea of uh, when I when I did I did a three week tour of of America of the of the, of the East Coast of, of New England about twelve years ago with Ron Kolek and uh, oh no Steve Parsons does it as well my mate Steve um, and um, while I was there they, they Ron had organised this this do and he does it quite quickly and it, it was called Dining with the Dead and I thought what a good idea. Uh, and so I said to her, I said, Ron, do you mind if I steal your thunder and, and do it over? He said, yeah, of course you can, by all means. Oh, wow. That's how it That's how it came about. But the difference, what what, what happened over there was that uh, it, they just had a speaker who, it was a bit like an after-dinner speaker, right. whereas what I do is I, I, I do a, um, I do, we do a three, hopefully a four-course meal, and I do ghost stories in between courses. Yeah. And then after that, I do me talk, if you know what I mean. And it sort yeah. of, and we theme it, try and theme it round death. <laughs> well, <laughs> well so we put poison in the food, basically. That's what we do. And then it's fine. You know, it's <laughs> no, no, we, we, we do sort of, um, it, it's up to the, the, the restaurant or, the, or the, the hotel too. But to theme it round death, ghost, co you know, like coffin cake, 
um, in the sh- you know, a cake in the shape of a coffin. Um, death by chocolate. Oh, um, yeah. I do like death po- by chocolate. Po- yeah, poacher's pie or... Um, yeah. Uh, one, one place did it where they did... Um, I'm trying to think what they did. Oh, yeah, chick- uh, strangled chicken. Uh, where oh, they had a t- chicken breast, but it was strangled with a, no- a noose of bacon round. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's it. All of yeah. the... Goes a treat. That's goes brilliant. a treat. Yeah. Um, so that goes well. Um, then I'm also doing... I've started doing... Years ago, I used to do haunted bus tours. Um, and I've started... Oh, dear. I've started up them again. Uh, where we do a Derbyshire. Um, not so, just It Derbyshire. sounds good. We, it, we, we, do two, we do a couple of haunted pubs. Around Derbyshire, right. um, uh, and then we try and try and visit um, a sort of a, a smallish, st- stately haunted hall or stately home of some sort, yeah. a haunted location, and then we have another haunted hotel where we have a meal. Yeah. Um, and I've got one on the uh, a week on oh a week on Saturday, um, and we have a medium with us as well. So it, it, that's it, cool. It, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's different. Because people get out to see Derbyshire. That's right, um, yeah. As, as well as haunted locations and, and a few pubs on the way. You know, you can't beat that's it. That's right. But it's seeing Derbyshire with somebody who knows Derbyshire as well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the other thing. Yes, that absolutely. Is the thing, isn't it? Because yeah, obviously yes, it you're is. born and bred Derbyshire. Yeah, and so as I'm going along, you know, I mean, I don't, we don't, I don't just sit on the bus, as you can imagine. I've got the microphone there. Oh and, yeah, definitely. And I'm saying, now as we're going past, oh yeah, now look, guys, if you look to the right hand side, and blah 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 blah, blah as we're going along. So, uh, yeah, yes, it's, yeah. it's 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 a goodie. It's a good one. Um, and, I, yeah. and I enjoy doing that. That's, that's yeah, that's, it's that's, lovely that's, though, isn't it? Uh... Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, at, at ghost walks wise, of course, I'm, I'm I've I've handed over some of my ghost walks to a guy called Wayne, um, yeah. who, who Wayne's yeah. a great guy. I mean, he always used to do uh, those people that came on the ghost walks. He used to do the scaring for me. He's, he's yeah. but he's actually he's also Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, he, he looks. In, I haven't seen him dressed as Captain Jack. I don't oh, think. you wait. He, he, do, he does look. I've seen the photos. He does look yeah. cool. He's yeah. incredible, and he's such a good guide because uh, he entertains people. Oh yeah, that's he's a right. real yeah. entertainer. So he's it's my ghost walk, but he's doing it for me. Yeah, that's I'm, it. I'm, I've decided I'm too old to be. Walking. I've been walking the streets of Derby for 31 years. That sounds dodgy. Walk. It is dodgy, <laughs> I tell you. But it's um, cold, you know. It's, it's not, cold and you know, it's wet. You know, it's cold, and it's, it's wet. wet. And, yeah, yeah, you've and, got yeah. To, you've got to do it, haven't you? And that's that. Yeah, but I've so, got I'm, I'm just, the. the they are, yeah, Wayne is great. But, but I mean, I'll be honest with you, you know, the stage, I, I mean, I'm 75 on, uh, on oh, the 23rd. Bless you. God help me. Um, oh. So it's, it's time for slow down a little, a little. Oh, yeah. A little, That's yeah. Good. You won't slow down that much, will you? We know that. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, no, you see, I've set up this silly YouTube channel now as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah which is, which is, uh, but I'm not very good at it. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know how to get things out on YouTube. You know, I, well, I don't know how you get people watching. It, it's one of those, isn't it? This goes out on YouTube. I've got about seven oh, subscribers. Oh, right. Um, well, you see, you see what I did. You see, I've got all these videos that I've been doing done over the last twenty-three years. <laughs> you know, the ghost tour of Great Britain. Yeah. You know, Derbyshire, Leicestershire, Lincolnshire, Nottinghamshire. So I've done thirty, uh, thirty-seven, I think counties of great britain uh are from you know for an hour's program and of course we then turn them into dvds yeah and that was tr- tremendous but they don't, they don't, they don't, people don't buy dvds anymore well, no that's right i know gina does occasionally oh, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, but on the whole people you know i mean i don't think you can even i don't uh, i'm told you can't even buy buy a dvd player anymore oh um, wow same thing uh, applies in your car you, there's no cd players in cars anymore it's um, all downloads, isn't it? No, but I've got a tape player in mine. I've got a cassette player. Well, I've still we've still got one in one of ours. <laughs> really enough, yeah, in in the, in the Fiesta. Yeah, but on the whole, people don't buy them. Yeah, so I thought I thought to to start it off to boost to boost the this channel that I've created. Why not put all the uh, videos on YouTube? That's it. Um, yeah. And there's 43 on at the moment. Oh, wow. Oh, um, and, and 
and it's gone mad. You know, I mean, you know, I'm, 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 we've got eleven thousand view uh, subscribers already. Oh, that's so, that is brilliant. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm I'm over the moon. People and people are of course they're enjoying they're enjoying them, but Good. they're also now saying, "Come on, what are you doing next? What are you going to do next?" Wait, oh, we bless want because the thing is they're old. Um, that's right. Um, yeah. The, the, the only problem for anybody that does listen, anybody that's listening in, the problem we do have is the sound because the music takes over because they're not they were not made for YouTube, they were not made for listening to on the on your phone or. Um, they were made for television, and and yeah. so the sound sometimes takes over from the voice. So I get a few complaints, you oh, know. The, the music's too loud. We know, but obviously I'm planning on some on lot lots of new stuff. Oh, bless God you. help me. Um, yeah. and, and a series of of ghosty type things and history and oh, you know, juicy as I used to do the juicy bits of history. Yeah. Um, people love that. So. I've got you, big plans for that. Oh, you've God, gone quiet on it. your own page, though, haven't you? You oh, don't yeah. have a chat anymore. No, I've stopped. No, I, I, I'm trying to think. I, I tried to think. Well, I stopped it. Well, I didn't. I didn't purposefully stop it, but I sort of. <laughs> I slowed it down. Um, I'm trying to think when it's when I got very. I think it's when I got really busy. Not this year, but the year before. Yeah. As soon as September came, you see. Obviously, my quiet times the summer. Yeah, that's or should right. Be, um, ghost wise, <laughs> and so and then things time. went really mad when when we came out of COVID. People started wanting stuff again, big time, and it got really busy. And I was I was so busy at night that I I sort of stopped. I must. I've only done. A, I must stop. Do, start doing. But the other thing I found out is that you can do the same thing on YouTube on a community yeah. sort of site or something where like we're talking live now and i can yeah. talk to people in yeah. the same way as i did it on facetime but i haven't sorted that out yet because well, i'm a bit I slow can, on the update you know i can help you on that because i i'm off to stream uh stream yard goes off to video as well so i'll let you know oh really to do it, yeah oh that's interesting because so, i say i would love to be able to do that and talk to people on, on YouTube and be able to talk to them and ask their questions and also explain and say, guys, I'm ever so sorry about the sound, blah, 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 but they're very, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, so, bless uh, you. Yeah. 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 So um, I'll sort that out with you. That um, sounds good. That sounds details. good. Well, I do need yeah. help. Psychiatric. Oh, bless you. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Aid, how are you? Nice to see you here. I know. I'm at, was well. it York? Yeah, York. Yeah, so, cranky. Um, you've got an offer here from Ros Robbie Cross, and now this is quite different. So, is it? Robbie's <laughs> offering you a past life regression wow. or a direct spirit contact. So, the direct spirit contact is quite unique in the way that it gives it's like you actually chat to a relative rather than the medium pull it through. Sounds extremely interesting. Yeah, so um, yeah, obviously I'll that. let you know, sort of. Yeah, but yeah, um, wow. Yeah, so oh, Robbie actually that. did one on here, and I, I didn't know what it was like, and we sort of did a draw, and like three people came on, and yeah, right. it was absolutely amazing how it worked. So, oh, I'll go yeah. with that. Yeah, so we'll sort that one out for you. Yes, please. Yeah, um, well done. Yeah, we'll do, I'm going to do it through through your channel, something well, or. Well, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll sort it well, out whatever. anyway. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Let me know some more because I'm up for, yeah, well, I'm up yeah. for anything. You know that. With, I know. The, the, I know yeah, you of, are. Of, I'm yeah, singing. I've got videos love. to prove it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know about singing. I'm oh, not sure no. about that. No, but you just like to have a laugh, don't you? That's I what, do. Of course that's I do. I'm quite about, isn't it? I've been making yeah. a fool of myself for years. <laughs> you, know, you just have a laugh and that's cool, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. And then the I'll other thing I've started. The, the other thing, of course, I've set up now or set up is I do a thing called Tales from the Jail. Ah, oh, interesting. Which is um, it's a um, a fish and chip supper in in Derby. Pardon me, in Derby Jail, with a speaker. Um, a when I say secret, um, they could be they could come and talk about anything, and it oh, doesn't yeah. matter. So long as it's interesting, do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. not, obviously. Um, it can be any subject. Um, and then also, 
Uh, so they, they, they do the... I do an introduction, of course, about Derby Jail, the usual thing. Yeah. Then the speaker speaker comes on for like half an hour or so. Then the fish and chips come. Nice um, one. Yeah, and then after the fish and chips and everything up in the bar, we've got a bar, obviously. And then I do a... I take a specific subject to do with Derby Jail. Okay. Uh, like like picking a particular individual that was imprisoned in Derby Jail yeah. or executed in Derby Jail or haunts Derby Jail. Do you know what I mean? And oh, talk gosh, about them. Yeah. That's uh, and that goes down that goes down pretty well. But I'm also thinking of doing a version of it on YouTube where I go to Derby Jail with my phone or whatever. Yeah. And talk about a specific person. Because obviously everybody can't, every, and people in America, Australia and Japan can't really come to Derby Jail to, to hear tales from the jail. So I'm That's thinking it. of doing that on YouTube. You know, pick a subject, pick a, pick a person, um, an inmate. Yeah. And tell their, sto- tell their story, basically. Yeah, and uh, it's wonderful because it does bring it to life more because everybody yeah. knows it was jail and, you know, things happen, but to actually hear a person's tale, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, it gives more life to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Because you see, I've always, always said brick, bricks and mortar can be boring. Add flesh and blood, yes, to the bricks and mortar, and it suddenly becomes fascinating. Yeah. In other it. words, the people that were in Derby Jail, they're the ones that count, not not the bricks and the mortar. No. That's right. Apart so from the doors, the apart from the doors yeah. of Derby Jail, because they obviously the doors of Derby Jail are full of people with their messages, as you know. That's right. Well. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. The markings on there, and you know the fact that that's oh. there, aren't they? They're there to be seen. They it's they've brilliant. left. Uh, that yeah, they've left their messages. To, oh, to, I mean, it really yeah. is quite quite. Uh, un, uh, I tell you what, way, is, to... when I took the jail over to twenty. 23 years ago um and obviously you know these doors with the, with the graffiti uh on i got a guy to come down from the prison services museum which ah. is, we, used to be near rugby at a place called new bold revel um and he came into the jail and his comments to me were that he he in all his years of doing stuff to do with prisons and jails had never seen doors like my doors with the amount yeah. of graffiti that's on them, which is yeah. something. Sp- I mean, for instance, I mean, go go to go to the galleries of justice, which I am je- jealous of because they are oh. incredible. They are yeah. incredible. But you go through all the doors and everything they've got. There's, there's no. almost no graffiti on them. I've not noticed any. Certainly there not isn't. Like no, yours, no, 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 not like. No. But the, yes, there is graffiti outside in the exercise yard. On the walls, they've, they've, you know, they've left their yeah, messages there. Yeah, I think I've there. got a couple of photos. Yeah. Yeah, but not, not like, not in like. Other, in yeah, other words, it's so it's, obvious, aren't they? It's so yeah. preserved. Yeah, and inside their personal cells, you know what I mean? Yeah. They spent their, yeah. their time in that cell, and put the messages on the doors. You know, it's it's it's, it's unique. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Oh, it definitely is. Yeah, the witches. The, oh, witch mark. The, witch the witch Yeah, mark. that's right. Yeah. You know, they they were frightened of ghosts while they were in Derby Jail, <laughs> which I find incredible yeah, incre- because yeah. because uh, you know although I say I say frightened of ghosts, I mean they the witch marks are there to to ward off evil spirits. Well, that's a ghost, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. It. Yeah. So they were frightened of ghosts while they were in prison in Derby Jail, wait, waiting to die. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. So the whole idea of the march was to stop the ghosts coming in, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Which is, again, pretty damned unique when you think about it. Yeah, it's not like, yeah, sure enough, I've seen them, but I never thought of it from that, you know, that yeah. angle. That that's that's how I get. I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, it's just the, it's the same thing with how you know, if you've got a um, a, a 16th century, 17th century house, yeah, um, and you've got witch marks on the windows or around the windows, around the fireplace, around the door, yeah. why did you put them there 
it was to stop it wasn't to stop witches coming in it was to stop ghosts coming in yeah. evil spirits yeah just coming to... you know otherwise otherwise it wouldn't be around the fireplace the apertures where something could get in yeah that's true so they were frightened the ghosts yeah hence to stop them coming in yeah, it's good. So, so, guys, if you've got if you've got an old property, or never mind that, if you're go, if you're a paranormal <laughs> investigator, right, and you're investigating an old house, old old house, for goodness' sake, get yourselves looking around the windows, the doorways, the locks, the bolts on on the doors, or around the fireplace, and see if you can find, because if you've got if you've got witch marks, then that that, that means. Well, it was a haunted property because they were frightened of they were frightened wow. of ghosts in their house. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's not good one. something I thought about, yeah. Yeah. In fact, funnily yeah. enough, while I was when I took a group of Americans to um York York Minster, oh. um, I'm looking round at various things, doorways and doors, and I actually found witch marks on the in some of the doors in York Minster. Wow. Would you that, believe? In fact, if if I can do it, I don't know. I probably <laughs> won't be able to do this. But while we're talking, if I yeah, can get onto my iPad, I have yeah. got photographs. It probably oh, won't work because uh, I can't get on my bloody iPad. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Low battery. <laughs> That's no, it might work. We might, we oh, might okay. get there. We so might, not. Rescue for a we second. might not. I've got a question. I've got a question while well, we're then, here. I'm listening. Um, I'm listening. What, what location have you been to that you emotion where you emotionally drained? Uh, it's Robbie from Scotland. It was the Edinburgh vaults for him. Um, mm, I'm trying to think. I mean, to be honest with you, I, I honestly think cabin three four zero of of the Queen Mary. Oh God, I want to go there. That's the one I would say that left me. Oh wow. Emotionally, uh, oh, yo, yo, come on, yeah, drained. Um, I mean, it has to be, um, yeah. because because of what? Oh, come on, <laughs> I can't. Oh, find bless it. <laughs> it, isn't it a shit? Aren't I? Aren't I just absolutely useless? Put people on a horse. Sad, it? Put people on a horse. Don't let them. Don't let them ride it. I'm still working on it, so I'm still oh, at the same you time. Get there. Still, yeah, we might do. We might not as well. Actually... But, my dad actually what? worked on the Queen Mary. Oh, really? I've got his original vaccination certificate from there as well. So, as a Crikey. child, he always mentioned working in there because he was a merchant shipman and he sort of uh, worked for Norwegian ships as well. And he, he did Lord. some time. And like, as a child, he always mentioned it. I never thought anything of it. But then when you sort of How do it into the paranormal, it's like, oh my God. And before he like died, I, you know, when mum and dad were still okay, I did want to try and get them to the Queen Mary one day. I would have loved to have done that, you know, but it, it is a place wow. that I really want to go to. Oh, it, it, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's as good yeah. as anything. It's, oh, as, wow. it's, it's a fabulous place. I have found the piece. Right, now, this oh. is a door. I don't know if this will work. Yes, it does work. Yes, That's it does. a door in, in York Minster. Wow. Right? And on the door is... A daisy wheel, which oh, is you, you, you tip, you're absolutely uh, typical uh, circle with six petals on it, That's strapped incredible. on the door to stop evil spirits. A good one, that is. I've got one of those on the door. And then also on the same door, scratched on it, is... Oh, it's not working very well. I don't know what's happened to that. Is... Um, can you see that? Yeah. St. Peter's, the two keys. Oh, St. my Peter. God. Yeah. Wow. The keys so that's York Minster? York Minster. They went you mad. I mean, yeah, like the, the, the Yanks went mad when I when I found them. Well, I went mad when I found yeah. them. Yeah, on the outside of a door to stop evil spirits coming in. Evil spirits coming into a church. Oh, wow. Hey. That's... Uh... That's mad, isn't it? You, you so know, you, you, you also, yeah, you certainly yeah, wouldn't think that. And the fact no. that somebody's got a graffiti there as well. Yeah, yeah, someone's <laughs> you know, graffiti. Yeah, in, in, those in, days. The, in the 1600s yeah. or earlier. 
um, someone has done that. And and the other, you so again, if you're visiting a church, you need to look especially at the doors of the church yes. for witch marks. Because I think again, also, are, are they on well, the gates on the way in as well? Because some of these yeah, like ornate yeah. gates don't lead into you'll, the church. You'll door. find marks them on there. there. You'll find them on the hinges, hinges or the bolts. Uh, yeah. And one of the most famous ones of that is, is a saltire, St. Andrew's Cross. All oh, right, yeah. Which, again, is to stop evil spirits coming in. Ah, so, so when you go to walk into a church, have a look outside. And, again, it can be around the windows. Won't be in a fireplace because I've never, I've never seen a church with a fireplace in it. <laughs> no. Yet. They need them to keep them warm. It's a freezing Yeah, too, right, they do. Yeah, <laughs> but I've never, seen, I've never seen a fireplace in a church. I've, I've never looked. But no, 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 you wouldn't. No. Well, no. then, so how did how did they heat them? That's a good question, guys. How did I, they heat churches in medieval times, or, be, or I, before be, <laughs> before electric fires <laughs> came on the scene? I'd, it wasn't about comfort, though, was it? No, of course not. No, but so you imagine you how long they spent in churches in those days. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh, no, while yeah. the vicar was rambling on. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I always remember as a kid, I used to have to go, and um, they have these kneeling pads, don't they? Yeah, we yeah. were never allowed to sit on them on the chairs because they were like the wooden <laughs> benches, weren't they? <laughs> they've, got rid of the, they've got rid of the wooden pews in my church. Yeah, a like, lot of them have like, gone now. Yeah. Like, oh wow, you know, like let's have comfortable seating now. Yeah, thank but, goodness. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it was what it was, wasn't it? it of course, it, it was. was yeah. Of pews, wasn't it? But yeah, they've got some yeah. Oh yeah. Views. Yeah. It, yeah. It was like uh, sort of sat cross and ash. Yeah. Uh, Andrew. No, yeah. No. And Saint Andrew was crucified upside down on the cross. He was. I, and I believe it was a Saint Andrew's. Well, that's why they call it a Saint Andrew's cross, a salt oh, iron. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I've actually been there to the church go. where they uh, sort of discovered the salt iron, where where really? it originated from. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I went to Scotland in September and um, we are just driving to a castle yep. and a, guy, a lady called Eileen Murray oh, and um, we just saw it so we stopped on the way back. It's just fascinating what you find on your travels, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's incredible. But yeah, yeah, yeah salt eye. Because the whole idea as well of the of the, the, the salt eye, like that, it's a little bit like, well, say say the king in the olden days, would have two guards outside the room. And if you tried to get through, they'd, they'd cross the spears. Right. No entry. No entry. Yeah. Keep out, in other words. Oh, bless you. Yeah. So, um, we've got Ian. Should we do a version of Science Medium, Richard, if interested? So, A version of Science and Medium? I don't yeah. see why not, Ian. Yes, because Ian Griffiths, yeah. Ian, Ian's coming coming on. Um, uh, he's... he's our medium for the night on this bus tour that we're doing. Oh, brilliant! Uh, awesome. So that's going to yeah. be good. that's going to be a really good night. Yeah, Matt, Ian, Thank Matt, um, the swaddling coat. Yes, the, yeah. Beautiful house because Derek Akora was there that night. That's um, right. So yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot um, how. You see, the, the the really the really impressive thing about that I found with Ian, and I know you're listening, Ian, <laughs> is. That when, I, when I spoke to him a few weeks ago, he spent because he spent the night in Derby Jail on his own, yeah. and I was talking to him, and I said, he said, well, he says, all I do, he says, I just sit down, sit back quietly on my own, and let them come to me. And yeah. I thought, wow, that is so much more genuine than a lot of the, uh, you know, I mean. Uh, be careful what you say, Richard. But no, actually, 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 we have a wonderful question here. Which yes, it's great timing here. One hundred percent. Right, you're going to love yes. this one. I yeah, should do you believe in me? About... Yeah. No, this one is. Do you think that building should be ganked? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're about to go onto that topic. Well, <laughs> no no, why not? Let's <laughs> let's do it. I, I, well, I'll tell you what I would say, to be quite honest with you. Oh, my gosh. The number of people that, that, that complain, obviously, about scream, 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 scream. But all I would say is that those guys created an extremely, exceptionally fantastic 
TV program, TV yeah. program, TV program. That's the big one, yeah. right? Right, TV. I mean, I'm trying to think what it was. There was a program on. We were watching something. Oh, uh, that's right. We were watching The Apprentice <laughs> the other night, and and basically we're watching what's going on. And Julia, my wife, said, "You see, all that's fake, just like everything else on television." Yeah, that's right. And and uh, accept it, guys, because it's television. Um, I mean, I I did. Um, I will get back to it in a minute, guys. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I I did. I did. Come dine with me. Yeah. Right? Um, oh, I saw that one. Yeah. Oh god, it's all yeah. fake. I mean, yeah. you know, you 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 think we're sitting leisurely having a meal? Well, you don't. You you have one call. I mean, they they arrive at like seven o'clock in the morning to film when you're eat, you're you're eating at night, of course, right? That's the first thing. Um, and then everything gets turned upside down. And when they came here to do, it, they said that's the biggest dining room table that we've ever seen. I'm afraid you'll have to cut it down in size. We can't do it with that table that size. That's all. That's my oh, dining yeah. table. That's my dining room. No, no, you'll have to take the extra pieces out of it. Oh, that's, so that's the start of it. That's the starter, right? And then basically what happens is you do you do one course, and they say, right, can you all go away now? And you, can, will, will you all go up to the bedroom, apart from this couple, because we want to interview them for... And, and it's it's all fake. Oh, well, well, no, 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 no. Sorry, that's not true. It's not fake. Well, yeah, you still eat it. It's, it's, it's not, still being interviewed. It's yeah, not, it's not. It's all rehearsed and and done, and that's fine. Not a problem. But yeah. So what I'm saying is, you see, I, I think that all the screaming that went on is not how ghost hunting should be. No. Because I I've been saying for such a long time, ghost hunters should rejoice if something happens, yeah. not, scream, not scream and run away. Gosh, no. Do you see what I'm coming from? Yeah, that's right. Definitely. It's a little bit like, you've heard me say this, but it's a little bit like being frightened of fish and going fishing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you caught a fish and you run away from it because you're frightened yeah. of it. <laughs> well, you're a ghost hunter. So if something happens, rejoice and start investigating. That's Don't right. run away. That's it. Yeah, I've met the but, cup out before, but that was more shock. You know, when all of ah, a sudden you've got fine. something, you know, dark yeah, shadow yeah, with yeah. a, you My know, God. it is yeah. shock yeah. seeing it. Yeah, like, yeah, we are frightened of it. Yeah, we are it's dark shadow. It had a skull yeah. for a face, and God. yeah, I screamed like, like I'd scream if I saw a rat right near me. I'm not scared of rats. Yeah. It's just yeah. like. It's a natural yeah, reaction, you, isn't it? And I agree with it. you. I do. I do agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. Um, did she scream? I never noticed it. Oh, yeah, no, she's been known to. But but all I can say is they created a, a program that has set the scene for all. You know, we probably wouldn't be talking now that's if right, it hadn't been yeah. for those taunted. And I, I wouldn't be, be doing paranormal because that's the reason that I knew, made my New Year's resolution 2002. And then I booked my first ghost hunts at Derby Jail and the Galleries of Justice. Oh, God, they are. You see? Yeah. So, yeah. And, um, yeah. And I had so... one of my first paranormal encounters at Derby Jail with Jason Carl. In, there you are, you like, think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Miles, yeah. And it, it's just yeah. fascinating, you know. Yes, it is. Yes, there. you're absolutely right. Um, and so I, I, I as you know, I, I sort of uh, moan a bit about about some of the, the, you know, like all of it couldn't be real. We all know that. But then again, all of Come Dine With Me wasn't real. All yeah. of The Apprentice, all of The Apprentice it isn't real. You know, I'm afraid they get no. you. And the other thing that gets me, all these silly, pro I mean, you know, we, we I watch Grand Designs on, 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 on TV quite a lot, but it's all got to be negative. Have you noticed? They, they, oh, they, God, they, everybody's yeah. always going to run out of money or the glass hasn't come or, or the bricks hasn't come in time or, do you know what I mean? And that's what, yeah. TV tends to dwell on the negative. That's it. And so the newspaper. Was... My friend was on Come Dine With Me and um, just as the camera crew got there or something, he had a chandelier in his hallway and yeah. he just like polished it slightly. That's all. But that was it. They just got him filming it and they made it like he was obsessed with a chandelier and cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and like... Yeah. When, got when to have something it, quirky. Um, 
we all went to watch it um, in a pub in Ilkeston. So we're sitting there and like him and like 10, 12 friends were watching it. And it was like horrified how it came out. Yeah. Yeah, really but that's chandelier, but really, yep, yep. that's <laughs> television. That's television. And yeah, so, you know, do it. remember, please, that Most Haunted was an entertainment program, it and was, my goodness, yeah. didn't didn't it entertain? But oh, hasn't it hasn't it also created the most incredible awareness of the paranormal? Oh, definitely, yeah. And they started it. We start. We started it. Yeah, I've got Sarah here as well. So yeah, yeah me and Jason, <laughs> and 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 Phil and and Derek. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah. And oh, you know what man. I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's the whole it. point. You know, we we set the scene. Oh, we wow. were the pioneers because before Most Haunted, what was the um, Strange but True? Michael Aspel. Do you remember yeah. it? Mm. I mean, it was good. That was good. And yeah. I'll tell you why it was good, because it was documentary type. Yeah, he was he, he he didn't run away screaming. He was just, he's a storyteller. He is. He, he was brilliant. And he was, yeah. was a very, very good. And there were times, I remember seeing one or two, not many, seeing one or two, and thinking, do you know, that spooked me. But it was only by the way he told the story. Yeah. Or the account, sorry. Because that's another thing of my new, my new phrases now is then... They're not, they're not. <laughs> hey, hello, <laughs> Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. How are we doing? Um, basically, um, I, I refer them, they're not stories, they're accounts. Yeah, a story right. can be made up, a story can be learned. An account is what you believe happened to you. That's it. And that's the yeah. difference. So that's I don't right. refer to ghost stories anymore. I do. Sorry. Yes, a ghost story. MR James. Edgar Allan Poe, um, Lord Halifax's ghost. Yeah, fine. They've been they've been written by someone with an imaginative mind. Yeah, that's some, right. But, but 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 what we get from Joe Public is an account. That's right because they, I haven't got believe... any ghost stories to tell. You know, I mm. can't say about this white lady, blah blah blah. But I, no, you know, no. I have got experience you know think encounters isn't it and that's it yeah encounters and, yeah. and it's an account of what happened to you that you you believe you can't prove it no that's right i that's can't i, I can't it. prove no i can't prove i've seen a ghost i can't prove i've heard a ghost i can't prove i've traveled with a ghost but i can tell you it's an account because i believe it happened to me um yeah. and that's the uh, here's one for you <laughs> um Guy walks into a Marks and Spencers, and while he's in there, he sees a man stealing a jumper. He puts the jumper in his um, in his bag, and he's about to walk out of the Marks and Spencers when the, the, the guy that saw it tells the security guy. The guy grabs him and says, excuse me, sir, have you got a receipt for that? Uh, uh, no, I've lost it. No, you haven't. So he's start Anyway, he's arrested. The police yeah. come, and he's arrested, and he's taken to court. And the guy that saw saw him steal it is the prosecution witness and that guy goes goes into the witness box stand and he puts his hand on a book that was written at least 600 years before the after the event took place yeah and says i swear by my imaginary god <laughs> to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and the the uh, prosecution guy says can you point to the man that you saw stole that, steal that jumper? And he points to the man in the in the dark and he says, that's the man. I saw that man steal that jumper. And because that man says that, he's believed. Yeah. Because he put his hand on a, it's on a book. Yeah. yeah. And because of that, the man's put in prison. But if, so, if I say to someone, I saw a ghost in Derby Jail at 20 past three on a Friday afternoon, they don't believe me. That's Why it. not? But supposing I put my hand on a on a book that was written six hundred years after the event and said I saw a ghost in Derby, would they believe me then? No. No, they still wouldn't believe me. That's it. Would they? <laughs> no. Because there's it. no such thing as ghosts, are there? Oh yes there are. <laughs> that, that's right. It's like, yeah. yeah, you see I've told my friend and he says, I know that you believe what you're saying, and I know you don't lie, but you don't, you know what I mean? And it, I believe you. He really tried thing. to 
phrase yeah. it, you know. Yeah, yeah. The normal thing <laughs> is how much have you had to drink that day, you know. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. had you been uh, in the pub first, you know. A relationship <laughs> kind of... Oh, Sarah a, Wood. Well done, Sarah. That's all right, then. <laughs> as soon as got into this paranormal stuff, it's like we kind of lost touch, really, <laughs> for some reason. Well, well so yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, but, but you, yeah, world, yeah. But, but you see, it, I, I find it fascinating. But, but as I say, as we know, the, there's... Well, the, there's no proof that ghosts exist. But as as, as Gina's husband, as, as Peter uh, said, but there's no proof that they don't exist either. That's right, yeah. Which can yeah. be said about anything, can't it? You know, yeah. like, you know, the cryptids and everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. All there's, the no, there's no proof that Bigfoot doesn't exist. Everything, yeah. yeah. There's Just no, there's no proof there, that aliens don't exist. That's right. Because of course you know, they do. There's bits of evidence everywhere, aren't there? You know, if you look and if you just open yeah. your eyes and Adam wants to be look, locked into St. Breville's castle. <laughs> oh, I like St. Breville's. I like uh, it. Especially, actually, you especially careful, in the Adam. oubliette. In the oh, oubliette for the night. Gosh, yes, I've got a story about the uh, galleries of justice one. Well. Oh, but yeah, boy. it's a bit creepy. Um, the pit. <laughs> oh gosh! I we know. have certain people who want to spoil events by saying they can produce a ghost to tell you. Yeah, oh. I've known one or two of those, Carl. How you doing, mate? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, the, the, no proof there is. No proof there is. The problem I have with science or scientists is that they, you know, there's, well, they say there's no proof. No, yeah. we'll, we'll start looking. Start looking for it then. That's right. Because they don't. They're not doing. They don't. Because there's no such thing. There's no proof. Well, yeah. come on, guys. You know, yeah, it's all not. But, of course, the only other problem we've got is that there's been so many ghost stories by, you know, ghosts like M.R. James, Edgar Allan Poe, so many ghost programmes and ghost films that are all Scooby-Doo. Oh, and that's God. the problem. That's why yeah, science, you know, uh, because yeah. it's given it, I'll be honest with you, it, it's given it a bad name. Yeah. All the ghost programs. That's the, but scare fact. Nothing wrong with scare fact. Nothing wrong with being scared. We love to be scared. That's, That's why it. we go to Alton Towers. Oh gosh! And, yeah. and, and we don't we don't go on the runaway train, do we? We go on Smiler and Oblivion because we like. Oh, to be I, I don't get nothing scared. wrong with that. I don't get scared on them. I'm getting too old for them now. But yeah, <laughs> you know. But I want to go to um, Alton Towers and to the towers again. Oh I'm yeah, not, that was. I in there a, last we, time, um, doing yeah. a live feed, and like just open, nobody come in and stop me because like you just think, oh, can I have a bit of quiet because everyone's on the rides, aren't they? Oh. You know, <laughs> just sitting there, you know, and just see. see yeah, it's get. fabulous place, though. Yeah, um, yeah. we've got a nice question here from William. Then, uh, do yes, you think on, the paranormal world needs regulating? Yeah, yeah, I do. Something Big time, doing, very, very, yeah, very, man. very much so. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you've got you've got these idiots, self-styled uh, experts and paranormal investigators that 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 go into people's houses and tell them all about the demons that's in the house, and oh. and and you know, if the people were frightened before, by the time they leave, they're a damn sight more frightened. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, really it, needs reg it needs regulating big time. Anybody, anybody can just you know turn up and say I'm a paranormal investigator. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, it. it I've, I've been saying it for years. Um, there needs to be some regulatory body that 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 polices it, basically. That's where they I go mean, around I mean, in charge. Most, and... Yeah, back. Yeah, back yeah. to most haunted. Back to most haunted. You know, I mean, it's it started out. As, as trying to make people realise um, that this was a genuine research type programme. Yeah. And, and it was only after they got, um, I don't know what happened, but basically from, from then on, it's always, you know, th this programme is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Yeah, I like Scooby Doo, Wayne, but but, but a, you know, it's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> it is good though, isn't it? I've got yeah. a dog that looks like Scooby Doo. There you are, you see. Yeah. 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 So who would regulate it, Sarah asks? Who would regulate it? Yeah. Well, the, the, <laughs> That's um, the issue, isn't it? The regulators. It's uh, always the same. Right. Um, who would regulate it? Oh, uh, me and Steve Parsons, I think. 
<laughs> Flash it. <laughs> yeah, it's usually like expensive. The voices of reality. Isn't it? The voices. The voices There's of reality. Mm. People that aren't frightened to. Yeah. All right. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. You know, register of companies, house, HMRC, and. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, That's because right. it, I, I mean, it can be dangerous. That's right. It, yeah, it, it, it really can be dangerous. Um, because you, you know, you, I mean, there are people, lots of people that have, have, ghosts in their houses, um, yeah. and work and what have you. That 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 are are genuinely, genuinely frightened of what's in there. Yeah. Um, and then you know, help my house is haunted. And you know, it's all down to you know, even Derek, you know, oh, it's a bad one if it's a bad one. You know, they're all bad ones, aren't they? No, they're not. They're not all bad ones at all. Um, because as I've said from day one, um the profession of a ghost, if it had one, wouldn't be to scare you. Yeah. Because most because they were human beings once. And That's guess right. what, guys? Most human beings are very nice, aren't they? Well, that's right. <laughs> they are. Of course they are. Most, they are, most, you know. Most humans are. So does not, doesn't that mean most ghosts are nice? Of course yeah, it does. They're just humans, aren't but, they? Yeah, there might but, be angry ones. There might be angry ones out there. There might be evil ones. You know, don't think for one minute, oh, yeah. guys, that Hitler, Hitler's wandering around picking daffodils because he isn't. God, no. Stop this. Um, so there is evil. We know there's evil. Yeah. But... Um, Oh, it's all back to the scare factor again, you know. It is, that, yeah. that, that's the trouble. Dare you come on a ghost hunt with us? What, what, why? What's the problem? It was a human being once. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I've got Ooh, an issue sorry, with the word that, that a professional. No, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but of course, making it scary gets people to come on on ghost hunts. Yeah, because that's yeah. what they've come. But you know, back to back to Alton Towers, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> you know, if they were all if they were all um, very nice rides that took you round and round and round in a circle, oh, I'm no. afraid it would not be as busy. No, the scary the little teacups, the old teacups where I just sat in this little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh dear, I used to go to sleep in there. Yeah. They're awful. Uh, I wouldn't mind the job, but like. To do some ghosty people try and convince someone like me. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But uh, again, as I say, it's too much, too much scare factor, and 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 not enough um, reality uh, yeah. as to what the whole damn thing's about. In in my very humble opinion, I and mean, who am I? I'm no expert. I'm just a bloke that's fascinated by the whole thing and oh, wants to find yeah. out what it's all really about. But you're sort of fascinated by the history oh. side as well, just yeah. to tie yeah. it to up. Oh. Robbie, you know. I like it. Robbie <laughs> has a brilliant, question. Today. Yeah. yeah, where do ghosts get their clothes from? Well, they don't, because basically 60% of ghosts... Well, OK, why aren't all ghosts stark naked, Robbie? Because at least 60% of ghosts are nothing more than a recording. And the recording, of course, was made as they were dressed at the time. Hence the fact you see a ghost clothes. Secondly... Secondly, a real self self respecting spirit, soul, entity, energy, call it what you will, would certainly not want to show itself naked. And they are presenting to your receiver as they would like you to see them. Yeah. But there are naked ghosts. Um, it was a battlefield, wasn't it? Battlefield in in, yeah. in Newark, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Naked soldiers were seen, and of course, guess what? They were Irish mercenaries, and and in fourteen eighty seven, when the battle took place, Irish mercenaries fought naked. Oh wow! Hence the hence the English ran <laughs> English ran. Uh, yeah, ghostly nude. Well, yeah, ghostly nude nudity. Yeah, yeah. but uh, that's my take on it. You know. Yeah. For what it for what it's worth, kid. <laughs> is it no? So it's all incredible, and when you start thinking, and oh mm. wow, you know, you get a question, then you carry on, and you can, yeah, yeah it's mad, isn't it? For residential, it's where I had a well walking about. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it, exactly. It, it's just amazing. Um, yeah, Tracy mentioned the paramete. Oh, so you're a speaker at the paramete. I'm, I'm doing three, I think. You're doing all three, brilliant. I'm, I'm, yeah, 
Yeah, one's in Wiltshire, I think. God help me. One's in, I think, one's in. Is it in Ingley? Yeah, um, one's in this Ingley. Is this is Lorian that's got me into this, by the way. Awesome. Lorian's got me yeah. doing it. Yeah, that's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yes, I'm yeah, doing it. I'm looking I'll be there as well. So looking yeah, forward to it. Yeah, looking sorry. forward to them. Yeah, I think I'm doing all three. That's oh. true. Yeah, I'm just sorting out my hotels and everything. But yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Good. The first think, one's I don't actually even in April. know when they are. One's in June, isn't it? I think one's in April. Oh, that's right. Yeah, where's that yeah, one? one? <laughs> uh, 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 that's uh, don't worry. Don't where, worry. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'll have a look it, in my diary. They're in the diary. Is it Bradford or with... Labour or something? Oh, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> one's in like Wiltshire, yeah. I think one's in England. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to them. Very yeah. much. Yeah. So, Sarah, she's going to the North one. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, right. Still Great stuff. There. Yeah. Well, I'll, well, I'll, if, I'll, well you if, if, there is three, isn't there? there? Yeah, there are three. Yeah. yeah, well, I'll see you guys there then. Yeah. Look, look forward to that. So, I'll be at all of them. Um, Great stuff. Can't wait for July. So uh, yeah, that, that's saying not sure, but yeah. <laughs> uh, para first. I didn't know you have in para first. Not heard anything on that one. So yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Ah, oh, not sure. That's um, EAPI. You do the para first usually. So I'm not sure on that Pontifract. That one. Ah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. July the twenty fourth. Better look in my diary. Make sure they're in. they are in. I know that. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Definitely. Definitely. See Gina on Friday. Um, Say again. Oh. See Gina on Friday. Okay. <laughs> oh, Friday. What's happening on Friday? I have a clue. What's happening on I Friday? Know. I don't know what's happening on Friday. I don't, know what I don't even know what I had for my breakfast. Um, oh yes, I'm doing a, a dining with the dead at the um, uh, the Georgian yeah. House Hotel. Yeah. That's right in, yeah. in in Derby. God help me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm well, through April. Bring. Thank you. Yeah. So West London Paranormal. I'm actually met Rich um, a couple of weekends ago. So yeah, it's great to meet Rich. Uh, so great. I, oh yeah, need to sort it. Yeah. Wow, yeah, because that para that para fest was good. Because I was a speaker there, I enjoyed that twice with Wayne. Uh, hey, Mark. So Mark Wallbank from New Zealand, who uh, is that work at wow. the moment? No doubt. Kiwi Land. Uh, hey. hey. So Mark was actually a speaker at the para meet last year. Oh really? And um, right. his speech was basically on New Zealand not existing on a lot of flags on maps so they, they have a map and they don't put new zealand on it wow yeah so you know you get all these maps of the world and new zealand does not exist how mad is that that's unbelievable I'll take care. see you cheers sarah mark where do, where 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 do you live in new zealand what's the name of your town or city he's haunted auckland well at one stage it's haunted auckland I, I kind of forget. Oh. <laughs> so it's Auckland direction. Ah. Uh, so we'll see if he uh, hasn't gone back to work. But yeah. You never know. Well, is well it, yeah, it is Auckland. It is Auckland. Auckland. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. So is it North Island or, or I don't know which it is. So the only reason I'm interested in because there's a guy from... Yeah. Uh, hey, up. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy from Derby, you see, that, that founded uh, a place called Masterton in New Zealand. And one day, uh, one day, I, I hope to go there. What's uh, my thoughts or experience of past, of past life regression? Life regression. Uh, I have not had much experience, to be honest with you, very little. Um, but um, I, I, I believe, I believe in it because I, I believe that we do go to another level, and I, I often yeah. believe that it's a bit like your driving test if you've not passed you have to come back again some yeah. people pass the driving test first time and they're okay but other people have to sit resit three or four times and i believe that's a similar thing why sometimes some people have got three or four five or six past lives others yeah. have got none because they've I've gone got... straight through to the next level i think that's I've... a possibility i've got two so horrible I'm a ones already i've got two horrible ones I've got two not so nice ones. One was at really? Derby Jail. Yeah, I sort of had a past life at Derby Jail. 
Oh, right. Uh, wow. Lisa did, Lisa did it. That's the first time I did oh, past she's life. good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's good. She's really good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I was actually um, a peasant in Nottingham. Like, I live in Nottingham. So yeah. in 1200s, yeah. I was in Nottingham. <laughs> There's no escaping. Really? Oh, around with Richard the with Richard the First, probably, and King John. Yeah, they killed and, me. And um, oh they boy, they killed me when they came back from the Crusades. I chopped my head off. Wow. I know it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's quite um, something. There's so much to that story, really. But yeah, it's mad. And the second oh, past life regression uh, connects me to the galleries of justice. So yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. So it's a special public holiday today. That's why Mark's watching. Oh, I say. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> does he know, does he, do you know a place called Masterton and North Island? Oh, North Island, yeah. Yeah, it's right. there's a guy that lives in my hometown in Derby, did live in Derby uh, many years ago, founded the town of Masterton, the, pre oh, wow. the, prettiest, the prettiest town in New Zealand. Oh, wow. Cheers, Wayne. Yeah, it's uh, doing the Dark Mirror show that starts at 9.30 on the Things Network. So, love the gallery. It's very active and um, nice place. Oh, you so, know yeah, it? Yeah, he knows it. Wow. Yeah. I want to go one day if I live long enough. Yeah, he did the second past life with me and it was disturbing. But, yeah, I've actually got um, video footage of that. Um, really? I will put it out there, yeah. Um, it's mentioned in my book. The whole story's actually come out now. But, yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah, I mentioned Ooh. it in the Derby, at the Derby Jail to uh, Dan, Dan Winter. And right. uh, while it, when, um, oh, God, we did that day with EAPI. Right. The from the US came over. I'm shocking my names, aren't I? Yeah, I'm And I was just mentioned oh. it. And um, I was just mentioning the story about, all this before I had the past life. And it's yeah, like somebody yeah. tried to strangle me in your garden, you know, just because I was mentioning this story. So, yeah, incredible. Uh, yeah. But, uh, Good well, one. the time's run out. You have to go. Well, only because I don't want to go and watch Silent Witness. I know. I know you do. <laughs> well, I was watching. I'm, 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 I love it. I love it. Oh, Simpson. Oh, uh, Simpson in Dublin. There you are. Oh, right, Chris. Wow. Oh, I say. Yeah. Yeah. Evidence of the person she described, the location. Wow. That and, is amazing. Uh, Andy Wessel hunted a historian. She's actually um, found the characters involved. Um, no, I that's, don't know who that's I what it's was. about. Yeah. yeah, she's actually, yeah. I had to name what I'd got through from something else, a long story, but hey, yeah. But yeah, right, so, mm. but uh, hey. thanks everyone for watching. Have you got anything to add there, Richard? Now, only uh, if anybody wants to, the, the YouTube channel, it's at Richard Felix channel. That's the, the symbol for at, at Richard Felix channel. There's lots to come. Great. Watch this and, phrase. and your email address for Richard Felix, Richard, Richard Felix at gmx.com. Richard Is Felix at gmx.com. Wrong word. Richard Felix, About yeah, all lowercase. At. GMX. Gmx dot com. Com. Right, I've, I've typed that out so hopefully awesome. that'll work and that'll go over to YouTube as well so people will see it absolutely um, bonkers show it on there. Yeah, there you go so that's right <laughs> but right, yeah guys. so thanks everyone for watching look after yourselves and speak to you all super next talking week. to you guys thank you cheers have a good night see you soon bye bye thank you, thank you Richard bye bye